Tank. What the? F Wait, where'd you go? What the? F what the? F Somebody just had. Bro, what the? F My Call of Duty. Yo, somebody just hacked! What the f Bro, yo, my game, my game just opened up, I swear to God, bro. What, what the f Oh, God, it did! Yo, 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 yo! yo, 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 yo. My game's opening up, up. Guys, what do I do? My, my whole bro! Thing. Cuff him. Yo, the actor, you say your PC now. Holy we got ratted. We got you ratted. Did too? You did too? Yes, bro. Gabe, my screen, bro. Just, we got ratted, bro. Oh, God. All right. I'm gonna help you with everything because I've gotten ratted before. I'm gonna tell you what to do. Are you sure we got ratted? Like, it's a. Yeah, hundred percent. We got right. He opened up a fucking Chrome link, bro. Like, I know. Hundred percent. Does he have IP got right. too? Does he have IP? I don't think he does. But uh, he just have. He probably has access to every password literally on your PC. Literally Are you everything. dead fucking serious, bro? Uh, I swear, I swear, I swear, bro. I'm gonna help you. Just end stream, restart PC, bro. Like literally, like you got ratted, bro. You got to factory reset it, literally. So to this day, I still constantly get asked to go back and play. Older Call of Duties, you know, obviously the biggest ones being Black Ops 2 and uh, especially Black Ops 3 because that is like the number one Call of Duty where my channel really blew up. And for the most part, I still do try to go back every once in a while and play some older Call of Duties because um, with older CODs, you know, there was no skill based matchmaking. You can just hop into a TDM game real quick and honestly get content very easily. But uh, there's definitely been a few things that have made this a lot more difficult in the last couple of years. I mean, last couple of years, mostly like the last five or six years, really. Uh, probably the most obvious one being that they're just dead. They have no players. Uh, most Call of Duties on PC have never had a very big player base. It only really started when uh, the games became crossplay. But like I said, even with as dead as they were, I'm talking like around a thousand players, you could usually still jump in, find a quick TDM game and get some good gameplay. But not too long ago, something happened that uh, basically just cut off the potential of playing a lot of the older Call of Duty games that were peer to peer connections, which basically just means there's not a dedicated server hosting the lobby. It's some random person in the lobby who's hosting it either on their computer or like if you're playing on console they just host it on their console and then everybody connects off of that person's host peer-to-peer -peer connections have been a thing of the past for even call of duty for a long time just because they're awful and uh, one of the biggest issues with them is the security risks so i've known this is a thing for a while but yeah obviously everybody connecting to one person's computer makes it a lot easier to obtain information on the people that are connecting. And so all this shit came out with all the security issues that games like MW2 and MW3, pretty much any Call of Duty that's peer-to-peer -peer connections, they had horrible security risks. And so I just completely stopped playing those games unless they had a third-party dedicated server client. Because then you're not connecting to a peer-to-peer -peer connection, you're connecting to an actual dedicated server. So that also made me assume that games like Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3 that are not peer-to-peer -peer connection, that you connect to a dedicated server hosted by Activision or I don't even know actually who hosts this or Amazon, maybe it's Amazon. I figured even if those games are dead, at least there's no security issues and I can just go in and, and play. But then if you guys have been keeping up with my channel, not too long ago, I posted a video going back and playing a lot of the older Call of Duties that had dedicated servers like black ops 3 and unfortunately it seemed like there was some really weird security stuff going on if you watch that video this guy was able to just continuously join my lobby and my games even though it, everything was set completely to private and was just spamming racist shit in my chat so that already got me a little spooked and that's when I uninstalled the game and I haven't launched it or played it since and I'm very glad I did because just a couple days ago, a couple very big Twitch streamers have been playing Black Ops 2 uh, kind of tournaments recently. I think it's, it's S&D tournaments like XQC, Aiden Ross. Uh, I was actually watching Mendo playing it uh, not too long ago. And uh, they were all on PC. And I, I thought this was really cool. I was like, man, this is actually kind of fun to watch. Nice throwback nostalgia. And then, uh, yeah, really late at night, like 11, 12 p.m., they were still playing and all of a sudden, all of them got hacked playing Black Ops 2. 
Now you can go look this up. Apparently it's called ratting, but basically the guy got access to all of their computers. I'll show some clips. Obviously I can't show uh, what exactly he was doing because he was able to open up like different browser tabs on their computers and just pop up porn and shit trying to get them banned. Thankfully, I think all of them were able to hide their screens quick enough. They, I, obviously they're streamers and they know uh, they're pretty smart and quick about it, but I don't even think that's like the scariest part. The scariest part is obviously that this person obviously has control of their computer and if they can control their browser too, then I mean, at least on my computer, I keep a lot of shit that I cannot show on stream and would be very, very bad for me if it got leaked, like my address and some of my bank shit, PayPal, you know, all that stuff. I mean, they, they, they could easily give away your address. All you have to do is go to your Amazon page and boom, it's right there. And so in a lot of the clips you hear, uh, I don't know exactly who it was, but somebody was telling them like, yeah, you just need to completely factory, factory reset and wipe your entire computer. Just uh, delete everything. He was also telling them to basically try to reset any passwords or anything you possibly can because there's a good chance this person who hacked them through Black Ops 2 most likely got access to them really really scary shit so i i had no idea this was even possible and what's insanely frustrating is the fact that th this happened to massive streamers you know this is this was big news but i doubt activision will do absolutely anything about it they do not care at all so i thought i would make a video about it for one just to kind of explain why it's become so much more hard so much more harder so much more difficult to upload old, older call of duties to the youtube channel recently and just to let anybody know who still plays these older call of duties on pc that you need to, if you're going to keep playing these you need to play on some kind of third party dedicated server client like uh plutonium or i think it's iw4x all of those because they're if you play it just through like normal steam you're there is so many security risks with playing these this stuff has been going on for a while on the steam versions of these call of duty games um i didn't even really mention i mentioned it on stream a while ago but on black ops 2 pc there was this one guy who was somehow able to i think it's called spoof he was spoofing my steam id to where when he played black ops 2 it looked like he was me and so this guy would go on Black Ops 2, he would cheat his ass off, fucking aimbot, wall hack everybody, trying to get me banned. And what was absolutely wild about the entire thing is when I downloaded Black Ops 2 on my Steam account and I launched it, when I went into my theater mode, I could actually see his games that he played where he was cheating. I have no idea how this is a thing. I also have no idea how I wasn't banned. I mean, th this guy like... He only played for a couple days, but he was blatantly cheating. Like uh, he wasn't trying to hide it all at all because he was trying to get me banned. But I think that was mostly where, uh, yeah, I just kind of gave up on playing the games on the regular Steam client. And the only time I'm going to be playing these is on dedicated third party clients like Plutonium, like I did in my uh, in my last video. But yeah, uh, I don't think Black Ops 3 has any like, any kind of client like this. So that's pretty much dead. It has just been an absolute shit show and it's just very annoying that Activision will probably do nothing about this and continue to sell these games on Steam for max price. I think I think they're still like full $60 on Steam even with all these security issues. It's just insane. So yeah, I just figured I would let you guys know because I, I know that not a whole lot of people play these older Call of Duties on PC anymore. But I know that most of them that do tend to watch my videos. So I yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know. Be safe. Um, if you are going to play these old Call of Duties, like I said, don't just play them on the Steam version. You will, without a doubt, be at risk. Try to play on Plutonium. I think Plutonium is completely, completely safe. Uh, IW4X, all, all kinds of stuff like that. And so, yeah. As depressing as it is, I think uh, a lot of these Call of Duty games are just going to be a no-go for me. I mean, there's just there's no way I'm risking this stuff just to make a couple of videos off of it. Uh, even COD, the COD 4 video that I, I uploaded recently, 
Um, the COD4 servers are hosted on other dedicated servers, but now I'm like questioning if that's safe as well. I don't know. Very, very scary stuff. So I just thought I would let you guys know because um, even though this was pretty big news, it wasn't as big as I thought it would be. Uh, it really kind of just stayed in this small little bubble. Probably because Call of Duty on PC is, is not very popular at all. But yeah, if you guys have any more information on this whole, uh, whole hacking shit that happened or uh, better explanation as to what all this ratting stuff is and exactly how this person was able to get access to their computer through the game, uh, let me know in the comments. I'd actually be really interested to, to, to figure it out and if maybe if there's anything else that we need to do to, uh, you know, not get fucking hacked. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.